Hi. So if you own a washing machine and know everything there is to know about washing machines, then it would be okay for you to exit the video. You probably shouldn't, but we will allow it. If you've thought of owning a washing machine or are planning to own one in the near future or tomorrow or whenever, you should definitely, definitely sit through this one. If you're okay with your mama fua or doing your own laundry or using the various services that are coming up every other day, then I'll urge you to stay. Give me a minute, I could probably change your life. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're coming here for the first time, we are the biggest channel in East and Central Africa. So welcome to the big channel. If you have any evidence to suggest otherwise, bring your statistics in the comment section. section. Let's argue it out. Thank you very much. So if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining our big family. If you're a returning subscriber, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you for coming back. If you are new, of course, consider subscribing. And let's get started. So guys, today I'm here to propose to you what I believe would be a great investment. Of course, depending on your level of laziness the reliability of your mama fua and most importantly your self-care start at this self-care routine because i understand some of us just love doing laundry and kufua is a self-care activity for most of us so i'm going to share with you um what you need before you get a, wash a washing machine i'm going to share with you uh, try to answer a few questions uh that you may have um, while looking to purchase one and also of course i'm going to share some of the benefits i think you're going to rip off owning a washing machine so let's get started so guys the first thing you need uh, to get ready to bring your machine home is space you need to have space that preferably has access to a water source so that's a tap preferably and uh, a socket for the power cable because you need to connect your machine to a power cable you need it uh you need a source that brings in the water to do the laundry and an outlet so you need a space that has a power socket um, a water source and a possible water drainage outlet i don't know if that makes sense but you get what i mean i'll propose a solution for you for that particular need if you have an extra bathroom in your house um why am i assuming that you're broke if you have a laundry room, good for you. Well, Momoka, just do not find any other. But if you have a laundry room, then you're good to go. However, if you've not, uh, you don't have that kind of a space in your house, then an extra bathroom would work. If you have an extra bathroom, then of course, I'm assuming you have a desert water tap. And also, the, you see where the, the, that kind of mesh like thing is usually at, then you can use that one as your drainage. If you have a balcony also, which is safe to place your ma washing machine i think that's a, also a possible um a possible space of course you would have to do a few adjustments but that would work too so guys before you bring home a washer of course there are a few things you need to know it's actually be not before you bring home the washer this is before you purchase your machine there are a few things you need to know but I have a short list of what in my opinion is honestly what I think is important and for me that would be is it semi-automatic or is it automatic what's the efficiency so I'm thinking what brand are you going with because of course some brands are better than others um, what's the load capacity how much can it wash um, again what um, are you getting a, a washer that has a dryer or just a washer I'm also going to talk about that and um, here's what I've found or rather here is what i've gathered and i believe this is a well-informed opinion when it comes to getting a washing machine especially if it's for a domestic purpose i'm going to advise that you take an automatic one because then you don't have to struggle with the settings um if you get an automatic machine then it means that as as soon as you select the kind of fabric you're working with every other setting is going to automate um the other thing is as pertains to getting a machine in terms of okay getting a machine that has a dryer or not um 
because I'm working uh, with the mentality of someone who wants to save their coins, I'm going to advise not to get a dryer because getting a washer that comes with a dryer, one, it's expensive. Secondly, honestly, as long as you have a place where you can just hang your clothes, I don't see the point. I don't think it's uh, it's pressing to have a dryer because the thing with machines, once the clothes are cleaned, it's not like they're dripping water. They are usually, some actually come out dry, honestly. And uh, depending of course on the fabric, and those that are not actually dry, like something like a towel, it's not going to be dripping. It's going to be, the spin, okay, okay again, also I think it depends on the spin cycle. But with the machine that I'm going to show you guys, I think that there's no point in getting one. I think you can save on electricity one for the dryer because that one consumes power. And also, you can save on your coins don't, by getting a washer that doesn't come with a dryer. And that is my honest opinion. So I'll show you just how you can handle that part. Um, in terms of um, efficiency, from my research, I understand LGs are good machines. Um, I, Samsung are also good machines. And um, from after that, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't know, but I'll advise you. The experience I have is with an LG one, and I think it's a pretty, pretty good one. And um, I guess, yeah, that's it on efficiency. The other thing is um, the size. You need, if if you want a machine that will do your duvets, a machine that will do everything, like a good load of, 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 of clothes, I think they run all the way from 6 kgs up to, I don't know, but I guess, the ones I've seen between six and nine, those are the ones I've seen. If there are others, please let me know. Nito and Shamba. But yeah, that's all I know. And um, I'm going to be working with a with a nine kg one. This one is able to do laundry from clothes to duvets. It can do a six by six duvet. So I think that's a pretty good one. About power consumption, honestly, I think it consumes an average amount of power. I wouldn't say it's a uh, like. I wouldn't say in a kunua like consumes a lot of power. I don't think so. I would say an average um, amount of power is used. So that's why I would advise against the dryer because with the dryer, I understand that that one consumes power. So if you if you've been washing your clothes, if you had your mama for doing the clothes, I think you really don't need the dryer unless you have so much money to spend and you don't mind the power bills. So that should work. Here's a proposed solution for you. If you are lazy to go hang your clothes, if you live in a space where you've got to go like downstairs to go hang your clothes, if you have a shared space or, or rather if you have uh, shared hanging lines, you don't necessarily need to do all that work. Because I understand people shy away from getting machines because one, they think, why would I have a machine and then I'll have to do all the squeezing or the hanging yes of course you will have to do the hanging but the, the clothes don't come off the machine dripping of water so all you need you don't necessarily need to go outside if you have something like this this is what we use if you have something like this then you don't need to squeeze first of all to take your clothes outside or downstairs or whatever you can have just have this on your balcony just hang your clothes as you get them off the machine because trust me guys they're not dripping of water so you can hang them uh, here, let them irate, and you're good to go. You don't really need to go through all that hard work. Machines are there to make your life easier. So some people wonder if their washing machine is going to help them do the curtains, do the duvet, do the blankets, and the answer is yes. If you have a big machine, like a, say a 9kg one, you're able to do your duvet it will do a six by six duvet and do it perfectly it can do your curtains your long curtains it can do that as well so size is pretty important also of course again if you have a big family you are better advised to get a machine that can hold a big load so that you are efficient with your consumption and of course your yeah, consumption of everything from power to soap to water yeah the bigger the machine the better for you one other thing I didn't know a machine can do is cleaning your sneakers. Yes, a washing machine. I am not sure if every machine will do, 
but the one I'm going to be sampling in this particular video you can do that you can clean your sneakers and you're good to go that's pretty that's pretty exciting for me I think that would be a good reason to get one if you're thinking of doing that another thing that is probably not common knowledge is that if you have a good washing machine it can clean your pillows as well you can just throw them inside there now, after a couple of minutes they're out and they're clean and fresh and you're good to go so right about now I'm going to take you through the washing process with the machine I have right now and, um, and then I guess we can end the video because I think I've shared pretty much what I wanted to share maybe one two things at the end but stay tuned let's do this so people of the internet, this is the load I'm going to be working with. It's a mixture of different fabrics and different colors. Of course, the whites are not here. So I'm just working with this uh, colored mixture. So I'm going to take you through the process and uh, I hope this video brought some value for you. I hope, I hope so. So let's do this. So guys, I've just shown you the load that I'm working with and um, so I have loaded the machine and um, next I need to load the detergent and the soft, soft the, the whatever, the, the fabric softener you use. Um, so for this particular machine, I don't know if I, I, I can only, everything I say from this point till when I'm done, is about it's but i think it's pretty let's just assume is what this machine can do i won't because i'm not sure i've not had an experience with any other so let's just restrict that to this particular machine okay so now i've loaded the clothes now i need to load the fabric the fabric softener and the and the so you don't use the regular powder i don't understand why but um yeah so in this particular case i'm using this uh, washing powder they're not paying me so I'm not going to mention them but it's clear what I'm using yeah so this particular one you can also use the liquid uh, soap so depending on whatever you choose but let me show you guys just how you load the soap and the softener and then let's get started with the washing or probably I'll also uh, take you through the settings or whatever this machine has to offer because like I said, it's pretty automated. So I don't really have to do any adjustments with the settings. So let me show you just where to load the soap. So guys, here is where you load the soap. Yeah, I don't know if you can see clearly, but there's this one, there's this part, there's this other part, and then there's this part. So here's where you load the soap. And then uh, a, a substantive, of course, amount to do your washing, depending on the amount of clothes you've loaded and then here is where you add soap also again for the pre-wash because this particular machine has that i believe that most machines do so you, you you this is where you load the soap for the pre-wash and then this particular part this blue area is a space where you load the fabric softener add a little soap for the pre-wash and of course a substantive amount for the, the main wash part so yeah so now I'm going to switch the power on and uh, also the, the, the water source on and then I'll take you through the functions over here and then we'll come to video. Thanks for so guys, if you're finding any value in this video so far, please give it a like, consider to subscribe. And yeah, let me, let me know if I've done a good job. So guys, the power is on, so I'm going to turn the machine on. When you turn it on, it produ what? produces. <laughs> what? It produces a nice sound and, and this part lights up. So I'll take you through this part. Um, we have cotton lard, I guess these are the big cotton fabrics you would rather items you want to clean this usually takes a lot of time um this mix here you wash your clothes mixture and you have all those pieces of clothes that are you know all sorts of all sorts of fabrics and colors um 
mixed together just like what I have and then there's easy care this is for the for this is when you want to just do a light wash I guess and then there's steam cotton there's allergy care for people who have issues with the uh, smells or rather scents so if you want the, the, the softener or the, the, the soap the detergent completely cleaned out you work with this allergy care baby steam care of course for room clothes sportswear for those sport um, outfits delicate if you have those items with very you know soft fabric like um, like sheer or those soft fabrics you understand them then they wool if you have your sweaters and stuff intensive 60 this is when you want to do like a very very intensive clean or wash when you want the clothes really clean probably i'm thinking these are the very dirty ones and then there's quick 30 when you just want to do a quick 30 minutes uh, wash because usually if you select these others it's automatically will give you the amount of time it's going to take so if you don't want to have the machine telling you how much time it's going to take and you just want to do you have only 30 minutes to to go then do select the quick 30 and then there's a rinse and spin so this is when you just want to rinse and, 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 and just spin it not cleaning whatsoever and then there's the pre-wash shear function there's the medic medic rinse i think it's also for the allergies and then there is crease care when you want to have as minimal creases on your on your clothes as possible and then there's intensive and time delay and all these various things pretty much you don't really need to do much over here because this machine is very automatic so what you do like for i want to do a mixed wash there then i'll wash here This, this red thing you see over here, it's the machine locking the door. The washing has started. So here is what, the amount of time I'll have to wait. One hour and 42 minutes of cleaning. I just selected the kind of wash I wanted to do. The machine will determine how long it's going to take. So, the wash is done. The key is gone, so I can actually now open this and I just want to show you guys what I meant when I said the clothes will be dry. It's literally dry, literally dry. That's pretty much it. Um, I think the only one thing left worth mentioning is the issue of noise. It's not noisy. You barely notice it's working. So that's one thing you also should know so if you have any other question left concerning this please let me know let me try answer it on the section in the comment section below so leave your question there i'll try if i can answer it if i can't i'll try get you the information i'll do that for you all right so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe consider subscribing share if you think it's going to be helpful to somebody and until next time see ya Oh, 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 oh,